Uh, we close in 10 minutes, so we're going to need you to make your last selection and bring it up to the register. And thank, uh, happy Thanksgiving. I said, oh. No. So, yeah. Remy, boy, let's go. Fast burning on Hey, you guys. Welcome back to MRTV. I am Maria. Okay. And today, we have having tacos. Okay. So, I can talk to y'all about what I've been going through. Anyway, let's get the blessing out the way first, and then we'll go with the rest. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food. I'm about to receive an answer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so I just got some regular tacos, uh, lettuce, hot Cheetos. I already got the meat, the cheese already in there. And I got those uh, butter pickles. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of the sweet peppers. Just a little. Okay. Got my Coke Zero. Boop. How have y'all been? I miss everybody so much. I really do. And I'm probably going to get to shining because I already brought a towel because it's hot. Oh. Get that out the way. I already tell y'all I can't be up in this boy shining. I can't be shining. All right. So that's that. How did everybody's Thanksgiving go? Oh, oh, well. I hope it was fulfilling. Everybody ate good. Okay. Put you over here. Right there. There's no need to try to be neat about this. You know what? I'm not going to do those two because I'm probably not going to get to them. So I'm not going to do those two there. All right, so put these hot Cheetos in here. I let me tell you now. A few of y'all know because I put on my community post the reason I have been gone. You know because I was hit with that site Attica. Oh my gosh! I wish that on no one. For real. I haven't felt anything like that since I gave birth. Seriously, that was terrible. Never, ever, ever, ever do I want to go through that again. Okay, let me see. Get my pickles on here. The pickles on there. Mm -hmm. I already put my sauce on. In there. No tomatoes. Mm -mm. You know, I had to figure out to me, me and tomatoes just don't really get along too well. I ain't even got that much of these. We don't get a well, get along well. <laughs> For real. So mm, that's it. Oh, see, I stretched that, didn't I? Okay. I can try to do a thumbnail. Okay, that's the best I can do. Okay, I feel. So anyway, about a week ago, I uh, I don't need this. I had problems with my knee. Okay, with my knee. I'm greedy. Hmm. Get you a bite. Look at me. About to be greedy. So I was having problems with my knee. Now for about two days only. But some sharp pain was coming through there. I don't know. Anyway, that was causing me to put pressure on my other side to keep from putting it on my knee.
after the knee pain went away. Then about that third day, I started feeling a little bit of tenderness, like right in the middle of my right buttocks, <laughs> all the way down the middle of my thigh. Felt very faint, but I felt it, and I was like, hmm, whatever, keep going. Mm. So, throughout the day, that pain got worse and intensified. And when I say it intensified, it was something I had never felt before, honestly. I have to put that like on in my life, number, number two, right up under labor, that would be it. Now, that's the best example I can give you. I had a little tingling, then it was burning, and the pain. On a scale from 1 to 10, the pain was like a 15, 20, I kid you not. And I'm pretty good with pain. I, know, I normally don't have a problem with pain. But this had me crying. I don't wish sciatica nerve pain on anyone. And it stayed there. I couldn't sit down barely. I couldn't move. It was like nothing I could do to make the pain feel any better. Nothing. Mm -mm. Nothing that I could do. And it just got worse. I could barely go to the restroom and sit because I couldn't put any pressure on that side. No pressure. None. Wasn't good. I would like to thank everyone for your prayers and all your information that you were trying to give me in order to help me with the pain. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. And I did do the stretching. Not as much as I probably should have, but I did. Mm. You know. But I was like, oh my gosh, I could not sit here and do a video. It was impossible. Because I couldn't, I'd just been all like this in pain, frowning up. I couldn't do it. So I was like, I can't. So, to everyone, thank you so very much. I truly appreciate it because you didn't have to say anything. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm, mm. Now, let's go into my Thanksgiving. few family members, which only end up being two people that came and picked up plates, but they picked up plates for everybody, you know, for like their spouse and stuff like that. So my one cousin, who always, why am I profusely, this is ridiculous, I think it's these lights are, for real. But anyway. My cousin sent her bag with her containers through her son, which she always brings her own containers every Thanksgiving. Anyway. Uh, 
every Thanksgiving. So she's staying with it this time. Look at that man with this big Macy's bag. <laughs> Looking at me like, I don't have anything to do with it. This is what she sent me with. So there it is. <laughs> I start cracking up. I'm like, uh-uh. She's going to make sure she's going to have her containers to have nuts. Oh. It was cool. I had the little R&B music playing while they was making their <laughs> making their food. You know. Mm -mm. It was cool. They had their mask on. I provided the gloves. They made their little place and they left. We chit chatted for a minute while we was in the kitchen. And it was good. You know, it wasn't the same as a sit down, you know. But hey, uh, these days you just have to do what you gotta do. Now, on to another subject. Because that's all for Thanksgiving. They just picked up their food and left. Nothing took place, you know, anything like that. But, now, I had my Thanksgiving dinner on Tuesday. But I needed to go to the store on Thursday. With a Thanksgiving. Now, <laughs> me and my husband talked about this. But I called before I went to see what time they closed. And they said, I think it was 4 or 4.30. <clears throat> Nothing under 4. Mm -mm. So I go. It's 2 o'clock. 2.30. Now, by the time I get to the register, it's probably about 3 o'clock. Now, it was a lady that went to the register next to me. There was no cashier there, and I was wondering why she was going. She went out the door, got the cashier, <laughs> and came back. So the cashier came back with her attitude, and the lady was like, thank you. <laughs> like she didn't care. She's like, I don't care, you here to work, so. Um, mm -mm. So she got on the mic thing for the store, the intercom, the cashier, and was like, with an attitude. Uh, we close in 10 minutes, so we're gonna need you to make your last selection and bring it up to the register and thank, uh, happy Thanksgiving. I said, oh, no. First of all, we don't need your happy Thanksgiving because you're saying it all jacked up. But me and my husband talking about it. He was like, shouldn't nobody be going shopping on Thanksgiving anyway? He said he wouldn't even been open, which is fine. Don't be open. But don't open. Then get mad because people come. People go to the store last minute all the time. That's just the way it's going to go. Period. So... I get to the register and I tell the lady, I say, well, ma'am, they might want to be aware of that, just like I, I called to see, and it said 4 or 4.30. Y'all telling everybody, y'all closing at 3 o'clock. So they may be under the impression that they had another hour. You know, she looked at me like, I'm like, well, in my head, I'm like, I'm just saying, why well, she was that with you, the attitude. I understand, but clearly you needed to be there, so that's why you were there. Don't get mad. 
because you was there. Or you could have requested off. Maybe you could. But all that attitude, I'm like, come on, that's on Thanksgiving. I don't like going with that attitude. That's why I call. Because I don't like going places when they about to close. I'm going to be very honest. Now, that's what I despise. I do. That's a little pet peeve of mine. <clears throat> Probably been in the restaurant field for almost 20 years. Everybody do like to come to the restaurant 10 minutes before they about to close. So I despise going any. I don't go anywhere when they about to close. Do mm y'all? -mm. Now, who are my last minute people coming in at 10 minutes before they close? Hit me up in the comments. Tell me. Are you that person that come in 10 minutes before? <laughs> Talking about I just got to get two things. Just two things. <laughs> we don't care. We don't want you to get nothing. Not just two things. Nothing. Don't come in. <laughs> That's probably what they think. Huh? Everybody just have to have patience this time of year. And we really about to have to go into the being patient time. Now it's Christmas time. Thanksgiving is over. Oh, yeah, it's about to get real in these streets now. <laughs> mm. Well, not too much because we really can't go anywhere. So it's not going to be that busy. But busy enough to where you ain't going to want to be out there. I don't like being out there on Christmas time because everybody be going out there. G D mine. For real. Yeah, I'm glad I just put zip zip. Mm -mm. Oh, but those butter, those peppers and those butter pickles. Oh, bread butter pickles. I never get a name out. My last issue, this should be Pet Peeve Thursday, huh? Because I found out that my husband told me that, now, you know, everybody's ordering DoorDash. That they was talking about on the radio that the tips that you leave the door dashers that deliver your food, they don't get that whole tip. Hmm? And I was like, what? So they don't get their whole tip. If there's anybody that do door dash, whatever, that may see this, leave in the comments. Mm -mm. And it got to be pretty much right because the radio had it. It was on the radio, so. That was my game sense to me. They already had a delivery fee. And I'm sure they get money every time somebody click DoorDash just to do anything with it. In my opinion now. It's just my opinion about that. But that's not right. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna leave cash tip. Now maybe if they didn't already, <clears throat> if they didn't charge the service fee, you might be able to understand, I guess, in a sense. They'd be like, Well, we gotta get ours, you know. But you're charging the delivery fee. And they Getting some of their tip to, mm -mm. and they have to pay for their own gas.
So I didn't think that was right at all. Period. They doing the delivery. Oh, you mean to tell me I can't get it. They doing the delivery. You mean to tell me y'all taking some of their tip from them by their self delivering the food? Although we didn't have some issues now, but that's for another day. <laughs> right now, we on DoorDash's delivery side right now. <laughs> wow. So y'all let me know in the comments about that. What do you think about that? Them um, not getting their total tips when you leave it on the DoorDash app. They don't get it all. No, I didn't put any sour cream. Somebody probably was like, she ain't put no sour cream. Not today. Just wanted to keep it like it was, pretty simple. It ain't real early in the day. I don't know how that sour cream gonna set. <laughs> so no sour cream. Well, that is it. I appreciate everyone watching. And once again, thank you so much for all of you who that sent me messages and prayers and solutions. I'm trying to make my life better with that sciatic nerve. You know, so I'm back. I'm back in the whim of things. Back in the comments of y'all videos because I have been missing the action. I could not. I couldn't. It was just too much. So, if this is your first time watching MRTV, hey, consider subscribing. Then hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. Give this one a thumbs up and comment. Let me know what you think about it. Comment on my <clears throat> topics. And I'm hoping everybody had a very happy and blessed Thanksgiving. And until next time. Peace.